So I'm here with my finished 2017 Jeep JK modifications. And I can say with total confidence, a three inch lift on a Jeep JK with 315 70R17 tires is the perfect combination for a Jeep upgrade. I had two goals when I went into this. Number one, to do this for under 2000 bucks. I want to do all my mods for as cheap as possible. And so I was able to do that and I'll walk you through how I was, I was able to. And then also I wanted to keep as much factory original feel to the vehicle. And so I wanted to go with as little of a lift as possible. That way I didn't have to change things like CV joints and tie rods or whatever. And so I wanted to lift it just a little bit and get a factory feel still. Two tricks to keeping it under 1,350 bucks. I found a great deal on my tires on Amazon. I'll put just some info up about that so you can buy them if you would like. They're great tires. Also, I um, sold some of my old parts. So I sold the tires that were on here and my shocks for 220 bucks to help lower the total cost. I added my shocks and my spacers, my tires, my rear uh, uh, spacer for my tailgate. I also added in there my body lift well under my $2,000 goal. 1350 bucks, the best money you can spend on a Jeep mod. I'll kind of talk you through some of the steps. So this is a close-up view of the Rough Country one and three quarter inch shock and lift after the install. You can see the, lift, the shock here, it's longer to accommodate for the extra space. Kind of worked perfect for me because my back shocks were starting to get a little bit of a drag on them anyway. I do pull a trailer sometimes. So I went with the shock and spacer combo. You can see the spacer right up here between the stock spacer, which you keep in the old one. Here's an up close view of the body mounts after they're installed. The first two are right behind the grill. So when you do this type of a lift, you'll have to remove the front grill. You can see the spacer there. They use the factory spacer bracket, but they come with aftermarket bolts that connect to the factory lug nuts, at least with the one that I have. Overall, pretty easy install. It took probably, I would say, four hours or so. There's one in the front for my JK, which is a 17. And then there are three on the sides. You can see one here. They look really difficult to get to, but they're actually not too bad. Um, you can kind of reach every one. The middle one's easy to reach under for. This one, you just kind of pull this dam forward a little bit, this guard. There's one more right here between the two doors. Another one right here. Again, they look really difficult to get to, but they're not bad. You can almost reach underneath there. A lot of it I did while I was on the ground when it came to tightening and everything. The last spacer's right there in the back. And uh, overall, I would say I lifted it two and a half inches to get each bracket in. I tried to lift it the minimal amount possible, maybe about two inches, just to barely squeeze them in. Don't want to mess with any lines if I can avoid it. So I just took my Jeep for my last test drive and I'm so stoked about how it drives. There's a few things I want to walk around and show you now that my lifts are done and my tires are on. So you have an idea of um, what you might be looking into. One of the things that I haven't done yet is trimmed my fender flares. So when I fully crank the tires, there's a little grab right here on the plastic and you kind of have to cut it at a hard, long angle to get it to avoid the tires. But when you crank it, there is about two or three inches of clearance all the way around the back wheel well with the one and a half inch spacers. I just found that that's a good combination. I'm so glad I went with those numbers and I have no issue trimming a little bit of plastic down here under the fenders that's not going to bug me at all one thing you'll notice if you do the body lift like i did is there's a little gap underneath the grill right here in the bumper that wasn't there before i kind of like that because i've always had an issue cleaning this plastic in here and i grub my fingers under the grill and it ticks me off so i'm really glad actually that that's there now what i don't like is the rear bumper gap so I have four spacers that came with it with my kit that'll raise that bumper up an inch and a quarter. Normally it comes right to this weld line right here, 
but it's dropped an inch and a quarter and it looks a little aftermarket kind of janky to me so i will do the work to lift the bumper up when i'm all done i also don't love the huge gap here doesn't look factory oh. here's an up close view of my guard underneath my bumper that i've trimmed you can see kind of the new space that i have there about two inches plus that'll accommodate a ton of flex this gives you an idea of what it looks like now that i've trimmed at the front you can barely notice that anything's been done up there this side i've not completely cut through yet i'm about halfway cutting through so you can see just about one inch on the left is being cut off when you do this i just used a jigsaw Here's the carcass from the driver's side. And you can see kind of the angle there that I'm coming across as I cut for this passenger side. I would say if you're gonna do this, crank your wheel just like this, give you a lot of space so you can see there's no brake lines or anything in the way. So you should have no issue coming through. This gives you an idea of the angle that I came across as I was doing it there right across that line. The debate is over. What size of a lift should you put on your Jeep JK? You've probably Googled 100 different images trying to figure out what a one inch lift looks like, what a four inch lift looks like, and you've wasted so much of your time. Stop wasting your time. The perfect lift for a Jeep JK is a three inch lift. I settled for a 1.75 inch spacer and shock lift and a 1.25 inch body lift it was a little bit more work but in the end it feels like a factory jeep still it doesn't feel like some teenager jacked up his car threw nos in it went two tracking and beating the snot out of the thing it feels like it did when i bought it from the dealership and if you don't want to jack up your jeep but you don't want it to look like all the nerdy jeeps at the gas station that other people are driving get a three inch lift with 315 70R17 tires, it's the perfect combination. Stop wasting your time. Spend the 1350 bucks. Do it, you won't regret it. Every time you walk in the parking lot, you're gonna be like, man, I get to drive in that thing. Do it, three inches, 